Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends so far we have learned everything starting from your introduction architecture flow configuration policies almost everything right which is required to get started with the dlp and in this video i am going to cover reporting part because at the end when all incident or you can say detection which occurs on your endpoint or you can also say the policy violation then all those things are get summarized or uploaded to your force point security manager console and using that single pane of glass you will be able to view all the activities which is happening on your network and in this situation reporting parts plays very important role so how exactly you can configure the report as well as how exactly you can view the incidents which is available on your console so all those things i'm going to you know demonstrate in this particular video after this small intro video Hey welcome back guys now as always let's log into our force point server uh, let me enter my credentials and click on sign in ignore the license because i haven't activated license yet okay so once you logged into your console what you will have to do is you simply have to go to the reporting part and inside the dlp you will see report catalog right so one two three four five six seven eight so whichever the report you will recently use that will appear at the number one so let me just view the incident of last three days so in last three days i don't have any single incident right so this is similarly if you want to view the you know different time zone or time frame inter incidents then you can simply click on filter by this column inside the incident time and you can choose the previous time period like how long or previously you previous reports you would like to view okay or you can also set the custom time frame okay and once you click on okay then it will appear uh, the incident which is available on your fsm console similar way if you want to check out the incident for any specific policy that is also you can do it okay so here all policies which you have configured on your epo server will be listed only active policies okay guys similar way source like uh, when any let's say one of the user has reported uh, issue okay so you would like to navigate by which policy this particular you know uh, the things are getting blocked on user computer you can use this filter by and then you can search your user here okay custom computers user domain so you can search as per the requirement additionally if there are multiple users you which you don't want to you know because here you will have to search one by one and if you want to search multiple user sources at a time then here you can choose free text okay and enter all your users here and to separate multiple users you can use comma so you can enter either enter your username or email address which is shown here okay and click on okay and it will show all the list of sources and accordingly you can review those things and take appropriate action now let's go to the actual part for which this video has been created for that we'll have to go to the report catalog and inside this you will find here one schedule task option right as well as setting in setting uh, if you click on go to the settings then here it's just a general settings guys okay so if you want you can have this looked at but let me just go back to our you know a uh, report catalog again and click on schedule task because this is where you actually configure the reports so if you don't have any report configured what you can do you can simply click on new uh, enter your report number so let's say test report okay description or uh, test i'll just keep it here for which product you would like to configure this report so let's say i would like to view data loss prevention and under this which report you would like to use and here we have multiple reports guys okay so let's say what i'm saying last uh, three days incident report okay and then which format so let's say csv because csv gives very much proper information and it will be easier for you to, to filter out the things at locally system level and then make sure this particular checkbox is enabled otherwise your report will not work 
then under mail setting you can just uh, you know fill the details like here the way i have filled sender name test report sender email addresses this 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 and so as per your email configuration you can fill appropriate details then outgoing mail server you will have to fill what would be the subject line for this particular report so let's say for spawn dlp schedule report slash incident last three days so as per your requ requ requirement you can select appropriate name okay so that it will be easier for you to understand these things if you configured multiple now when you go to the recipient whoever is the administrator you will get all this you know uh, user name here so for this just for the testing purpose i'll just select sohan g okay this user is basically with the id which you have configured uh, to log in into your epo uh, i mean uh, force point console those users will be reflecting there okay you can see administrator and if you want to search any uh, other user then you can you can you will have to select here directories and then you can search that particular uh, user and then select and if you want to add if that user is not available uh, in this anywhere then what you can do because there is a you know sometimes the vendor uh, is also available in company who manages your uh, security console on your behalf right and in this situation their email id would be different so in this type situation if what you can do you can simply tick this box and enter those email ids separated by comma okay and once done go to the schedule schedule you can from where when you you would like to start this report to be generated so you can select appropriate time and what is the frequency daily weekly monthly so you can choose your desired option so let's say daily then if daily then you can schedule the timing okay now if you want to schedule it weekly you can schedule this time as well okay on what are the days you would like to select and it will trigger as per this so right now i'll just skip daily okay, and just for your you know information if you want to end this particular uh, report after a certain time then you can choose here okay but right now i'll just keep end after let's say five days and once you are done click on okay and your report is configured the status is never run okay so it will run as per its schedule however if you want to run this any of the report if you have multiple at any point in time then you just have to simply select that particular uh, report and then click on run you can see report has been executed status idle so let's refresh and this report will get triggered in some time and for any reason if you ever want to modify these reports you can simply uh, go to that uh, test report by clicking on the name and modify as per you know details which you would like to configure okay and make the changes okay whatever you would like to do once you, uh, you make the changes and then uh, you will receive that particular report on your mail id which you have configured under the recipient so this is the way you can configure your report guys this is a very simple process and if you found this video then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe and if you have any you know you or your colleagues who would like to learn this postpone dlp then please do share this video with them as well so that we can all grow together so make sure you have subscribe and enable the bell icon notification so that as and when i'll upload new video you guys will get notified so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the new amazing video till then bye bye